What's up guys, welcome back to A21 Bravo. In an effort to try to bring you guys more videos, I'm gonna start doing something called Bravo's Quick Flicks. So Bravo's Quick Flicks is just gonna be some quick little video explaining something, showing how to do something, short and sweet, right to the point. So today we're gonna be talking about how oil flows through an LS engine. So leave this video a like, don't forget to subscribe with notifications turned on. So the reason I wanted to make this oil flow video is because until I completely tore the engine down, I didn't really understand it myself. So I figured some other people might have questions. So let's get started and I'll explain the process. First we have this oil pickup tube. This is actually going to be in the oil pan and connected to the oil pump. So this is where the oil gets picked up, transfers through the pickup tube and to where this connects on the pump. The oil pump is connected right to the front of the engine, spun by the crankshaft. So the crankshaft turns and it'll run the pump. Oil goes in the bottom side of the pump here, spins through the gears, gets pressurized and then pushed through a hole in the block. So removing the oil pump, oil gets pumped in through this hole and over through this oil galley here and down through the block. This is the driver's side of the block. You can see this little raised section here actually travels through the block over to these ports. This one goes down. The oil then comes down through here into the outside of the oil filter, through the filter screen, up towards the center, up through the center hole right here. Comes out this hole, goes through your oil cooler. You can also block this plate off so it transfers right back through. Otherwise it goes through the oil cooler, in through this hole, out the top of the pan. Which brings us back over to here. So that section will go up right here and then up through the block. Oil comes up through here, gets distributed to the driver's side oil galley, passenger side oil galley, and also up to the top here where your oil pressure sensor is going to be. So these oil galleys go all the way to the front of the block. They come out right here where the thrust plate goes on for the camshaft. Your lifter will be inside the block like this where these little sections are going to be filled with oil and then oil will go in this hole right here. Oil then comes up through the lifter, through the hole in the top of the push rod and lubricates the rockers. Then it'll just travel down through the head back into the block. After the lifter galley oiling, here you can see this little bubble section right here in the block. And then there's a hole right here. So this hole goes from the lifter galley down to the crankshaft, but there's also uh, an area in here that lubricates the camshaft. So oil will come through this hole and then gets pressurized, comes down to the crank. Got the engine flipped upside down now. So when it goes from the lifter galley down through this hole, lubricates the camshaft. Now it goes to the crankshaft and it will lubricate from this journal to this journal here for the rod bearing. Now to show you an example of this, I have a different crankshaft out. So this is the front journal and these are cross drilled over to the rod bearing. So this is a crank main bearing and these are cross drilled over to the rod bearings. So that's where you get your lubrication for the rod bearings. Okay, so just for a real quick recap, comes up through the pump in this oil galley, travels the driver's side of the block, goes down in through the filter, back up, up the backside, distributed to the lifter galleys and to the pressure sensor. Comes through to the front of the lifter galleys, lubricates the galleys, the lifters, up through the push rods and then back down into the block. And then also down here to the crankshaft, which also lubricates the camshaft through this hole. Once the crankshaft is lubricated on the main journals, it's cross drilled over to the uh, rod bearing journals. So that's it for this one guys. Hopefully this helps somebody understand it a little bit better. In my situation I had a spun camshaft bearing which wasn't allowing proper lubrication for one of the main journals and one of the rod bearing journals. So I had three essentially that were bad because of one issue. That's the process. That's how it goes. Hopefully it helped. Leave a comment. Let me know. Have a good one. Hey.